Uh, we don't have anything concrete yet. We have a lot of people calling in and saying, oh, by the way, I heard this. Oh, by the way, I saw this. Uh, I heard this today from a third party. Uh, we don't have firsthand information right now. And that's what, kind of what we're looking for, somebody that uh, can physically talk to us about something they observed, somebody they don't think that's insignificant that we would like to hear about and let us make the decision whether it's worthwhile or not. If now, specifically, they're looking for anybody who may have passed by the Cedar Bridge between 7 and 8.30 last night. Now, if you have any information at all about this fire, you're encouraged to contact the phone numbers on your screen. They are the Sheriff's Department at 515-462-3575 or the arson hotline. And we understand there will be a reward set up perhaps by tomorrow. That number, 800-532-1459. I want to bring in my colleague now, Lori Groves. Now, Lori, in this news conference, we also learned that people have been calling from all around the world, in fact, to check on the status of this bridge. They certainly have, and really this bridge, the Cedar Bridge, got international acclaim because of the bridges of Madison County. The book in 93, Oprah doing her show, I was here for that. I remember there were hundreds of people in this peaceful, beautiful little valley. And that's what is so sad to the folks who were there then, who've enjoyed it since. It's a piece of romance. It's a piece of history for them that's lost forever. Made famous in the bridges of Madison County, the Cedar Bridge today is nothing more than cinders. It was the most photographed, standing as a testament to romance year round. When Winterset residents heard that the landmark bridge was quite possibly burned down by an arsonist, it was the talk of the Northside Diner. People for, since the 1800s who have carved their initials in those timbers, it's gone forever. It can't be recreated. Residents come out now and shake their heads in disbelief. Thousands of tourists were compelled to see the Cedar Bridge to capture the romance of the best-selling book. You can go out, you could go out to Cedar Bridge, you could walk across the bridge, drive across it, sit in the gazebo, and you could breathe. This was the only covered bridge that you could drive across by car. Winterset residents, now wary of their five remaining bridges and their place in romantic history. I don't want us to be known for that because we're not that kind of people. And folks are worried about the possibilities of arson or any other attacks. After all, this person or persons, whoever torched this landmark piece of history, is still out there and police are looking for them. John gave you the numbers uh, to call just a short time ago, and we're gonna put those up again. But it's an incredibly sad. We see cars continue to come down here, John, as they stop and look. There was a little five-year-old girl who came up and said, Mommy, where's the Cedar Bridge? And her mom said, this was the Cedar Bridge, and that's what's so sad. Uh, right now, they're talking about putting some money together, perhaps to rebuild it. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce is working on that right now, and again, we'll bring you more on that coming up on the news tonight at 6. But certainly a sad day for the folks of Winterset and any fans of the Bridges of Madison County, John. And, Lori, such a change in ambience. As you say, you were there that afternoon. Oprah mm -hmm. was there in that beautiful setting, and now you have charred remains and all of these other crews and just people watching. Yeah, it's certainly a sad, and no one could have predicted it predicted it it was so sad and so it, it was so special back then you know and it just it just changes overnight one tragedy like this but people are determined to take care now of the rest of the bridges and and uh, look out for each other and a uh, part of history that's so important to tourism and to the heart of the folks of Winterset John thanks very much Lori Groves reporting live from Winterset well by the numbers tonight only five Madison County bridges remain as you heard Lori say and as you heard, too, this is the second covered bridge to burn down as a result of arson. At one time, there were as many as 19 covered bridges in Madison County. As Laurie said, the Cedar Bridge was made famous by the film about Madison County's bridges. And today, members of Iowa's film community say that they are very saddened by the news. It's such a great tragedy. I sat and watched that on the news last night, and I just couldn't believe that, you know, we've lost another treasure here uh, here in Iowa, and um, uh, it, it was, it was, you know, devastating. Jarvis also says that the studio originally planned to shoot the film at a replica bridge in Texas, oh, but the movie's director, Clint Eastwood, demanded they stay true to the story and maintain the integrity of the bridges and film right here in flowers. Iowa. The covered bridge is a big part of central Iowa history, but should Winterset rebuild? 
Well, so far, voters in our online poll are split on that issue. You can log on and cast your vote at whotv.com.